being famous and having loads of friends. From the first moment I tried, I easily won the dance contest. I was invited to go on a summer internship in a dance theatre near the Black Sea. I have my big stage, spotlights that strain the eyes, and the music is disturbingly loud. The first week in the theatre flew by, five or six hours of training each day. I call my mother, choking with delight and excitement. I talk about my successes. Then, the photo session and the evening performances at the private parties. No chance to relax. We drank a lot, danced and had fun. When it was dark, the producer who came with the director of the theatre came up to me and with a nice smile offered me a drink. A cocktail. Ten minutes later, my head was so heavy. I went to the beach and I sat down on the sand, hoping this would wear off. When I opened my eyes, I could not understand where I was or how I got there. I was in a flat, I had no clothes on, and all I was wrapped up in was a sheet. The apartment was empty. Doors and windows tightly shut. There was an agonizing wait. Late in the evening, I heard the jangling of keys and in walked some men. They walked into another room. I still hoped there was some mistake. But a man entered the room and closed the door behind him. He began to undress. I screamed and fell back, but he hit me in the face, cursing at me as his body pressed me to the bed. The horror and despair, the smell of his sweat and the look in his lustful eyes. And then, a searing pain. These things still come to me in my nightmares. How can I live with it now? The cycle continued. The jungle of keys and the producer appearing with guests. I ceased to hope this nightmare would ever end. When suddenly one night some masked men burst into my room. Was it the police and the rescue? Or was it more guests? and more pain. Then there was a journey home and my being reunited with my mother. How I had aged many months in her eyes. I am still plagued by nightmares, shattered dreams. And you think whether after such things you could dream again.